kind of hoping that the traffic is heavy because we want to see those those heavy numbers and how this plan works we'll take all that back we'll, we'll analyze that the state highway will look at this with the numbers and uh, look at their algorithms and then from there we'll be ready for the town hall meeting to talk to the public again about where we're going from here it did it work are we going to move forward with this uh, what's the next steps? All these questions will be answered at the town hall. And I would, I would say, I think it's important to be, um, there's a lot of sort of negativity bias out there about this, right? If somebody's inconvenienced by it, then they're gonna look for everything negative about it. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would ask everybody to learn a little bit more. Thanks for watching this video. Watch the last commissioner's meeting where Commissioner Moran talked about the beach to bridge uh, plan. Uh, we talked in round table a little bit more about some of the questions that we hear. Give it a chance to get some data before we decide that there's a failure or a success. And, and let's see where that goes. Um, if you live east of Castle Marina Circle um, and, and we have a large amount of traffic, don't expect the pilot program to clear Correct. the roads all the way to Queenstown. That's not what the pilot program is doing. We're just doing one segment of the plan right now. So if, you're, if you live in Graysonville and there are cars on Rudy Tane, that doesn't mean that the, the pilot program is failing. Um, it, if it's working between Route 8 and Castle Marina, that indicates Maybe the pilot program is working and when we can extend it all the way up, then those who live in Graysonville, in Queenstown, they'll get the same relief that the other segment is getting. So it's going to take some time um, and it's, it's not gonna be an easy process because we're, we're not just, we're dealing with changing travel behaviors. Mm -hmm. Some people use navigation software to get to the side roads. Some people have weekend homes down in Delaware or Ocean City and they take the side roads automatically. It could take a while for them to, to recognize that the signs that say stay on 50 mean stay on 50 because you're gonna have to turn around. We have to change those behaviors. Right now, this, this pilot program is, look at it as a phase one. Phase two would go from Castle Marina to the Kent Narrows, and phase three would go from the Kent Narrows all the way to the 5301 split. You know, again, with all this is gonna come out in the town halls. We encourage everybody to come, everybody to speak. We'll be putting those dates out here probably within the next 10 days, but it will be in November. We encourage everybody and anybody that has a great idea, pass it on to us because you know we're, we're not sitting here with closed ears. We are uh, uh, analyzing everything and anything we can. Thank you. Thank you. To watch the entire video series, please head to the QAC TV YouTube page. And while you're there, give us a like, a share, and subscribe so you can hear about all the wonderful things going on in this county. Thanks for watching.